Hi, and welcome to this Internet Geography, Rapid Revision video. In this video, we'll explore the formation of erosional landforms found on the UK's coastline. These landforms include bays and headlands, cliffs and wave-cut platforms, and caves, arches, and stacks. We'll explore each formation and the erosional processes responsible for their creation. Let's start with headlands and bays. A headland is an area of more resistant rock that juts out into the sea and is surrounded by water on three sides. Headlands are often formed from hard rock, such as limestone, chalk, or granite, that is more resistant to erosion. A bay is a broad inlet of the sea where the land curves inwards. Bays are formed where cliff material is less resistant to erosion. Bays and headlands form along discordant coastlines, where bands of soft and hard rock lie at a right angle to the sea, such as the eastern edge of the Dorset coast. Differential erosion occurs as the softer rock is worn away faster by hydraulic action and abrasion, forming bays. In comparison, the harder rock resists erosion, standing out as headlands. Moving on to cliffs and wave-cut platforms. The formation of cliffs begins with the attack of waves at the base of a headland, primarily through hydraulic action and abrasion, creating a notch. Over time, continued erosion causes the overhanging rock to collapse, forming a cliff. This material is then eroded and transported away, leading to the process to repeat. Over time the land retreats, leaving behind a gently sloping surface found at the cliff's base that extends into the sea, known as a wave-cut platform. Although headlands are formed from hard rock, such as chalk, they also experience erosion, which can lead to the formation of landforms such as caves, arches, and stacks. Flamborough, on the Holderness coast in the east riding of Yorkshire, has a number of these landforms. As waves continuously pound headlands, cracks, joints, and bedding planes in the rock can expand to form caves through hydraulic action and abrasion. These forces excavate the rock within the crack, enlarging it over time until a cave is formed. Caves can evolve into arches when erosion processes, especially hydraulic action and abrasion, continue to deepen them until they cut through to the other side of the headland. Wave attack and processes such as freeze-thaw weathering, chemical weathering, and salt weathering can weaken the arch's roof. The collapse of the roof of an arch, due to erosion and weathering processes, combined with gravity, leads to the formation of a stack. These tall, column-like structures are separated from the main coastline but continue to face the relentless action of hydraulic action, abrasion, and attrition, potentially leading to their eventual reduction to stumps. Understanding the formation of coastal landforms can help us better appreciate and manage our beautiful but vulnerable coastal landscapes. Why not test your knowledge of landforms of coastal erosion by taking the quiz on Internet Geography? Click the link above or in the description below. Let us know how you get on in the comments. Thanks for watching this Internet Geography Rapid Revision video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.